Hello, Mr. Sri Silesh. Hearty congratulations on securing RDA rank 8 in electrical branch in ESC 2021. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Silesh, tell us uh, what type of coaching programs that you have availed from our ES Academy? Uh, I have taken the main uh, postal coaching, then also the main online test series for the main exam. Then also I have taken interview guidance program from ES Academy. Good. Uh, Silesh, uh, where are you from? Which college are you from? When did you pass out? Uh, I did my bachelor's degree from NAT Chandigarh and uh, in the year of 2000. In the year? 2017. 2017. Yes. Right. Then what have what have been doing all this? Uh, I've been five, five, four years. I have been working with the Vedanta Group. Uh, it's a PSU company, Vedanta Group of Company. I was in the capacity of senior. Age. Okay. Then when did you start the seriously preparation for this engineering series examination? Uh, so in 2019, that is for the ESC 2020 attempt, I started my preparation. And uh, I have been up to the interview, but unfortunately, I couldn't clear the interview around. by a margin of around 10-12 uh, months. I'm unable to recall it. And then uh, I started again my preparation for 2021, and uh, this time I have been successful. Okay. Uh, Silesh, uh, from your uh, previous uh, uh, failure, yes. what did you learn and what modifications you have carried out in your preparation that brought you this success with the 8th rank? Yes, sir. The first thing is in the uh, initial preparation, I focused more on because the ESC is already having a vast syllabus. There are 16 subjects in the electrical engineering and 10 subjects in the general. So, my primary focus to clear the preliminary was to complete the whole syllabus because only 70% of the paper is predictable, remaining 30% comes from any, any area. So, I started, I focused on the complete theory part and also uh, in completing the syllabus in time so i could clear the prelims cut off but when it comes to the mains preparation uh, previous year there were some disturbances due to the covid and all and so the mains was postponed and i was not able to equip uh, uh, such kind of admin. and the second preparation i ensured that i don't i don't uh, miss the consistency in the preparation i focused more on the test series and i uh, have given as many test series as I could from the ACE Academy as well. I have given both preliminary as well as the main test series. I focused mainly on test series and doing as many problems as I could. So this has helped me. And also in the first preparation, uh, during the first time, I was more focused on the, I was more predicting that this, uh, this will be by March. So I stopped predicting the next time and I started taking things more practically. And uh, I was ready for the worst case situation. So all this helped me to secure and get into the top. Okay, Mr. Silesh, uh, yes. you said that you have availed uh, ES Academy, the postal coaching material, as yes. well as this online test series. Uh, yes, sir. So that uh, uh, postal coaching material, how was it useful for you in this examination? The postal coaching material, one thing the, that is best about both the postal coaching material and the test series of ES Academy, they don't take the questions directly from the previous year. So this helped me to try other type of questions other than those which have already been asked. And I have seen that uh, since the two new pattern has introduced, the focus has been shift to the new type of question rather than repeating, which usually used to be before 2016 and more. So it, the questions used to repeat, but now the question stopped repeating. So I could learn different types of questions. And also, it helped me to revise some concepts which are usually neglected in the usual preparation. So I could learn those concepts as well through the postal coaching. So it was easier for me to uh, analyze the various areas and uh, uh, find uh, uh, myself, my find my weak areas whenever in I, whenever in you. So this has helped. Right. Good. Uh, when it comes to the mains examination, Mr. Silesh. Uh, generally, students will be uh, solving the previous year's questions of engineering service examination yes. as well as civil service examination questions. Yes, sir. So, did you do both? Uh, I didn't do the civil service examination questions, but I did the ESC previous year questions, those questions I have solved. And then I practiced ex extensively through test series. So, the questions which I used to leave in the test series and the options 
I used to go home I mean after the test series because it was mostly online I used to after getting the marks I used to evaluate uh, the evaluate my marks uh, as expected and then the questions which I have to leave in the choice because out of it we have to attempt only five questions so the remaining three questions I used to solve them uh, completely on uh, on in the QCAP booklet itself and uh, so this is the thing that I have done during okay. the test Shailesh, uh... Uh, if you talk about this uh, prelims uh, examination, we have yes, two papers, uh, general studies and then technical. Yes. Uh, with regard to general studies, uh, so what was your uh, preparation style? Because there are 10 topics there. Yes, Did sir. you prepare all the 10 topics with equal emphasis, otherwise any area that you have left over? Yes, uh, out of those 10 topics, I left the current affairs portion because it is very vast and the, we need to cover so many other areas which are more probable. Current affairs is like out of the things we what we study, there is only just one percent probability that it may appear in the paper, and there were a total only ten questions out of out of the out of the total hundred questions. We have only ten questions from the current affairs. So uh, I used to even if I attempt those questions, it was mainly based based on the common sense, but I didn't do any preparation for the current. But for the other subjects, I other subjects also there are some questions which are out of the box but i try to uh, study the basics and understanding what those terms mean rather than uh, mugging up the static part so this helped me to eliminate the options in the agenda study and i focus mainly on those things which are more uh, uh, more scorable like that of the basics of uh, material science and engineering and then uh, we have the aptitude portion engineering mathematics so i focus more on this because for electrical engineering paper matches on both in the gs as well as in the uh, technical Main part yes. so it is completely short short 20 questions will be appearing from the mathematics so i could score most of them and then uh, aptitude i scored more most mostly in the aptitude and then i focused on uh, standards and quality practices and uh, project management then comes the uh, ethics is there, ICT is the, there. The design, drawing, and important portion. Then I went to the environment and the ICT because ICT is also covers the more more of a current capacities like and mix the subject because it involves current affairs as well as the base. So uh, this was my uh, my aim was to uh, from the least amount period I want to score most out of uh, them. So that was my main aim. So I left the current affairs and environment to the last but i understood basics from everything in order to eliminate the options uh, it is uh, it is completely unpredictable i have given the 2022 paper also and the type of questions from gender studies are very from diverse topics so we cannot predict any only thing is that most horrible uh, part we can try first okay approximately how many marks would have got in the gs paper in the GS paper, in the 2021 attempt, I am expecting it to be around 90. Around 90? Yes. Yeah, okay. Reasonably, reasonably. Because yes. it's difficult to score 100 plus marks there. Yes, uh, sir. Yes. Uh, so when it comes to the mains examination, Silesh, we have yes. a type of questions, lengthy numerical the problems. Yes, we took sir. a lot of writing skills, etc. That yes, will be QCA format. Yes, sir. So how did you carry out this particular preparation for the mains portion? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, writing in the type of the presentation plays a uh, huge role, but again, it depends upon the type of the paper, uh, uh, the question paper being asked. Because in 2021, the electrical engineering paper, like there were many questions which are lengthy. So, focusing on minute things will not help in that case. But I ensured that I always gave the, uh, all, all the important steps I tried to write and also that the steps which which would carry a mark like there are five parts in the question so i try to represent those five parts in that order and also diagrammatical representation or any theory as and when required only we have to write because the time won't be sufficient in that paper so i followed this thing initially my attempt was less i was not able to complete the paper also but then i focused on the things which are to be compulsory presented i developed that habit through multiple after writing so many tests after some writing so many tests and so this helped me to get to the main space okay good silesh silesh uh, so from this uh, experience yes uh, having achieved the eighth rank yes. uh, will you please share some useful tips for the aspirants of the engineering service examination in general and from electrical branch in particular yes uh, 
when when it comes to the general paper like from any branch of engineering which is trying for the engineering service examination i suggest that the completing the syllabus should be their priority because uh, engineering service uh, examination concerns with the uh, uh, coverage of the topic rather than the depth unlike the gate exam so we have to focus on completing the syllabus because only after uh, clearing the prelims we can write the main so that should be the main focus and uh, coming to the main part we have to uh, focus on the writing skills as well as practicing as many number of questions as we can because only this can help us to be in the least number of people who are writing the examination and coming to the electrical engineering people i would strongly suggest them to not to neglect mathematics subjects because that is a very important subject coming I mean, to both in the preliminary as well as it is carrying with the main examination of the carry smooth mark and there is a tendency for electrical engineering students to focus more on power systems power electronics and machines but i say that it sometimes more, i don't say all the time but sometimes it becomes very difficult to score in this subject because of the lengthy questions which, uh, which are being asked so i i say that we have to equally emphasis on subjects like analog communication and uh, other uh, materials because these are less lengthy in nature and uh, and we can score uh, uh, may, many marks if we just read the subjects because the depth of questions are usually less so i find many of the aspirants who are not able to get many marks despite of being good in the technical subjects is because they are neglecting the electronic subjects in electrical engineering so the future aspirants mainly because the num uh, number of seats are very few the competition is very high i would suggest them to understand all the topics do not neglect analog digital such kind of topics because they will be they are the topics actually fetching marks in the exam than compared to power system because these questions are vast so this is my suggestion from so it's very useful points for the electrical students right thank you thank very you. good uh, thank you right sairesh sairesh uh, what are your parents your father and mother yes sir my father he is working in the ministry of defense uh, he is a junior design officer now and uh, he has a educational qualification but it after the, the, he did an MBA and he okay what, what is your mother what is your mother my mother is a school assistant in the state government of andhra pradesh right yes so your parents must be proud of you yes sir they are very happy uh, right. because this was my main aim and i was uh, struggling for that so uh, they were very happy upon my research and uh, It, it gives me more motivation to do it. Uh, it gives me a lot of motivation that I can achieve any further. Yes, yes. So convey our wishes also to your parents, right? Sure, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you, Sailesh. You have shared with us very useful points. Yes. I think these points will be uh, taken by the electrical students in particular. Yes, sir. Yes. I once again congratulate you and uh, wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Yes, sir. And thank you for AS Academy for the, the help that it has done for achieving. and thank you so much